All right, guys, now we're taking a look at this uh, flashlight taser. This is a Diablo, it's by Guard Dog. We just got the box. If we open the box, it comes in with a little instruction pamphlet that really doesn't tell you a hell of a lot. It shows you where the buttons are, but we can do that for you. And then it comes in with a little case that you can put on your belt if you want to hold this on your belt. It's got the flashlight taser right here that says Guard Dog on it. And it comes with a plug and the plug gets plugged in the back of the flashlight taser. Let's take a look at see how this thing works. So the first thing that you see on this is that if you want to plug this in and you have to charge it, they say for you know, probably eight hours or so when you first get it, you just plug the plug in, you plug this in to the wall and the thing charges. Once it charges, it's really pretty simple to use. If you look at the back and you see on the back there's the hole then the receptacle where the plug goes in there's a light that tells you that it's charged and there's an on off switch. You have a switch on the top and the switch on the top can go to flashlight and if you do it again it'll go to a blinking flashlight or it'll go to a brighter flashlight. Brighter, blinking, and duller. So you have three different things that you can use with a flashlight that just goes right to the middle. If you push it all the way to the top and this is where the fun is, you just press the button and you have a taser. And this is a taser. You know, they start talking about my dog's bark is worse than his bite. This is pretty scary. If you put this, it gets pretty scary. And they jump back. I've done this to my camera guy who's holding the camera right now. And he's jumped back. He doesn't like it too much. So they take this thing out and say, hey, do these work? Well, this one they say is like four and a half million volts. That's four and a half million volts. But they say, hey, the volts aren't what hurt you, it's the amps. So who cares how many volts it is? But right now, I'm going to take this and we're going to test it on uh, one of our students. So we use this sometimes as a knife so that we can use it for knife defense. Maybe can you stab somebody? Can you get away from it? Um, I wouldn't recommend that you do that. It's uh, some of the senior guys that are just testing some of these things here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Well, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? You just shot the hell out of him. It's better cool than it was him than, than me. But uh, now, we want to show you again what happens if I go after him. He felt the shock before, so he really doesn't want to do it. Yeah, so he's a little scared. He says, just get this over with right now. You want me to get over with it right now, or is it okay? Yeah, just... Right. So now if I go to the body, this is, this is what happens with the body. All right, so just take a look at this. If he has it here, can he take it? <laughs> See, he's just scared of me. You don't even want to take it. You don't even want to take it. For me, this is like so much fun to do. <laughs> See, you can scare him like that. <laughs> yeah, so if you're in the street and you do something like that to somebody, you're just going to scare him. <laughs> mm. It's not so bad. It is better to be the giver than the givee. That's always better. How does that feel? You feel it? Yeah. All right, so now, this is what happened last time. He hit his arm. So let's see his arm. Let's see what happens when I hit his arm. So if I hit his arm, did it go to the other arm? No, not this time. How did that go? That's okay. How about if I take him and just put it on your arm? Can you do that? Yeah. Right. How did that go? It's okay. All right, so what you find out is that you can take these. Right? You can take this and you can take the pain on this type of stuff. If you put that on your arm and it goes, you'll be able to take that pain. If you take a, a police taser that they shoot at you, their probably amperage is twice as this. This may be two and a half amps, those are maybe five amps, and they'll put you down. So when the cop comes after you and he shoots you with his taser, you will go down. You will. This is going to scare people. It's going to shock people. They're going to drop. They're not going to know, they're not going to know what to do. But you're not going to be getting in trouble with the law because you're not going to kill somebody with this. Maybe if they got a pacemaker, a pacemaker like that, right there. You don't have a pacemaker, do you? No. Okay, then, then maybe it'll hurt them. But otherwise, you can take that stuff. I want to take my watch off so I don't, like, screw up my watch. But you can probably take that and... Just take that and put it in your ass. Oh man, I felt that. Just go in there. Now if you hit Okay, let's try to do this and see what happens here. 
I felt that going through. So it was going through my arm, just holding that there. But you can take it. So you don't know that you can take it until you try it. And it's lucky that we tried this so that you don't have to. It will scare you. Uh, it'll scare you. It just scared my video guy. He doesn't want to be taking this. Yeah. Uh, that hurt him, man. That uh. felt that he hurt that. Uh. Right? So take a look at him, man. He's doing all right. He's doing all right. Right? Uh. No more. Anyway, that's the way that this thing works. Thanks, guys, for watching this video.